What's up guys, how's it going? It is Michael, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I've got a new recipe video, and what we're gonna do is make some popcorn chicken in the oven. Usually you can have some popcorn chicken fit into your macros, but if you get it fried, it's gonna have a lot of fat, and your macros are pretty much just gonna be blown out of the water. It's gonna be hard to stay low in fat. So this is easy to fit into your diet, and it's macro friendly. And I'd like to thank Wix.com for sponsoring this video. It's a place where you can go, sign up, it's completely free, and build your own website. It's really important if you're an online business, a musician, you're starting a fitness blog maybe, to brand yourself online. There are over 200 apps you can use, 500 fully customizable templates, and like I said, best of all, it is free. So if you wanna check it out, there's a link down below in the description. I always appreciate the sponsors, so be sure to show them some love, and let's go ahead and start this video. So as you guys can see, you really don't need that much for this recipe. I've got the chicken laid out on a plate, and this is around 1.25 pounds of just plain chicken tenderloins. They're the thinly sliced kind, and I bought this kind just because they're gonna cook a little quicker, and they're already cut up, so you really don't have to do as much cutting. We're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces to make our popcorn chicken, and you don't have to do this. If you just wanna make chicken strips, you could just leave them how they are and cook them like that. But today we're gonna do popcorn chicken, so we gotta cut them up into smaller pieces. And after we've cut up our chicken into the popcorn sized pieces, I've got the pan that we're gonna cook this on and we're gonna spray it with some non-stick cooking spray and leave this out because you are going to use it a little later in the recipe. So spray a little bit on that aluminum foil so it doesn't stick. And in this bowl right here, you've got two eggs. And all we're gonna do is just crack them and put the egg whites in this bowl and over here, I've got around two cups of panko or panko breadcrumbs, however you want to say it. And it's really simple. We're going to take our chicken, dip it in the egg whites, and then from there we're going to take it into the breadcrumbs and fully coat each piece. But before we do that, we have to add in some seasoning to the panko breadcrumbs. And the seasoning that you want to use, that is up to you, whoever is watching this video. I'm going to use Cajun seasoning today and Southwest Chipotle. One optional step you can do with this recipe, since you've got the egg whites already in this bowl, you could add something else like a mustard, but today I'm going to use some sweet and sour sauce. So what I'm gonna do is add two tablespoons of that into our egg whites, and that will give our popcorn chicken that sweet and sour flavor. Next, what we're gonna do is spray the tops of these with some olive oil cooking spray. This is an important step because it allows for our chicken to get crispy. So you really don't need to go overboard on this. Two or three seconds will work fine. Just lightly mist the tops of each one. And now what we're gonna do is put these in the oven that I've got preheated at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes to start with, and then we're gonna take them out and flip them over and let them cook on the other side. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I just took these out of the oven. They were in there for around 20 minutes total, 10 minutes on each side. And here's what some of them look like. These are around half of the popcorn chicken pieces, so you still have quite a bit left. What I'm going to do today is use that sweet and sour sauce and dip the popcorn chicken pieces into them. They're crispy, they've got that fried taste without all of the added fat calories that you get from traditional fried food. So a delicious substitute. Be sure to try these ones out, and if you make them, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And that's it for this recipe video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you liked it, feel free to click the like button down below. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And a big thank you once again to Wix.com for sponsoring this video. Always appreciate the sponsors. And if you want to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, pages are down below in the description. I will see you next video with a workout, of course. I'm going to try to get some more gym footage going on a more routine basis. People really seem to like the vlog style videos, just what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'll have some of those. Thank you for watching once again, and I will talk to you next time.